What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and after more than two and a half years, over two million dollars over budget, my dream home is finally still not done. <laughs> All right guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of the home. I'm gonna blast some subs that at this point I am just so frustrated with. I'm also gonna give a shout out to the subs who did an incredible job and helped make this house a home. I think that's the phrase. And finally, I, uh, I'm gonna be really transparent with you on how far over budget we are and all of the massive mistakes that I made along the whole process. So let's jump into it. First things first, my garage is still not done. However, we are officially moved into the home and we are ecstatic about it. Um, it has been well worth the wait. However, I am going insane about some of the subs that just won't seem to finish their freaking job, even though they've had two and a half freaking years to do it. Um, so we're really excited to have the garage done, but the garage is one of those things that's supposed to be last. We're supposed to still be working on this. However, a lot of the other things I'm gonna show you in today's video are not. It has been an extremely painful process, but some subs have made it an awesome process. I wanna thank Derek and the plumbers. I wanna thank CJ and the electricians. I wanna thank Eric and the cabinet guys, Lee and the tile guys. Um, Colby and the smart home guys, and there's a long list that I'll continue to share as we go through the home of subs that really did an incredible job. Unfortunately, there are some subs um, that really made this a long, painful process, and I think we're gonna give them a shout out too, but I know you wanna see the home, and so let's walk you through and show you what we've got to see. First off, you gotta check out this half bath. The tile guys absolutely crushed it through this whole process and I'm really excited to see this come together. All that we're waiting on is matching hardware to match this stuff that is taking forever to show up. Now if you come in here, the cabinetry is so cool and it is a mess because we've been in the process of moving in. But this is a homework room. We also got these super slick doors that close up for you. And uh, I have to give a special shout out to Lindy at Four Chairs Furniture. Her and my wife designed this whole home. She came and installed all the furniture and she also helped us through everything in the process that would have been absolutely miserable. And she's one of the people that kept us sane. So if you're looking for a designer in Utah, Idaho, anywhere in this area, she is absolutely incredible. I'll link her below and I'm doing that for free just because she's awesome. Between her, me and Maddie, the living room and kitchen turned out epic and a lot of the furniture is stuff I wouldn't have personally picked and then once it got in here I'm so glad that I wasn't in charge of those decisions. One of my favorite parts of this home is all of the white oak that we put in from the floors to the cabinets and these cabinets are something special. We had them do wood on the inside so they're super tough. They can take on water. They've got the soft clothes and they turned out so beautiful. And so Eric, Adrian, the guys that did the cabinets, thank you so much, they're incredible. All right guys, now I've gotta show you the entryway. We still have this that's coming in, um, but man, it all came together. And now it's time to talk numbers, so we're gonna go into the office. We gotta close the doors for this part. All right, my desk gets in this week and I am pumped. What I'm not pumped about is how far over budget we ended on this house. Now my original bid was for a little over $1.6 million and I am sad to report that we ended close to three and a half million dollars on this house. Now I think there are lots of parties responsible for this. Um, at the end of the day, I have to take the most responsibility because there are a lot of things that I could have done differently. First off, when I got my original bid, um, I probably shouldn't have rushed it. I should have made sure that I knew what I was getting in for. I also probably shouldn't have built during COVID. I also probably shouldn't have built during this time of just 
life in general because so many things have exploded due to inflation, COVID, all of those other things. The last thing I would say where I really need to take responsibility is even though I kind of entrusted my builder to know what this was going to cost, at the end of the day, I should have looked at the bid and realized that I should have dialed in a lot of things that vary on the house. Things like light fixtures, things like plumbing fixtures, um, the tile finishes, the wood finishes, all of these things, the HVAC system for the pool. There's so many different things that were unique to this home that I probably should have gotten exact bids on rather than hoping that my builder could know what those bids are going to be. With that all said and done, I know the average person would probably be furious. However, I mean, I watched it go through the process. The only thing I can really be upset about is the bid. The home turned out absolutely beautiful and I've got receipts from all of the subs, multiple pricing on all of the things. Um, this home just was always going to cost more than we thought. And there are lots of people when I posted my first video about the home and our plans and what we wanted, where people are like, dude, there's no way you're gonna get a home with good finishes for the price that you're planning on, and you're right. Luckily for me, I've always been smart about setting aside reserves. I've always been smart about continuing to make income, and I think the fact that we waited a long time until we built this home to make sure that we could afford it and then some put us in a place where we're still comfortable. Now, am I happy about going $2 million over budget? No, but am I happy with the finished project? Yes, and have I learned a ton that hopefully over the next couple of videos we do on this home will help you if you're going through the process? I think so. Just keep in mind that originally we needed millions and millions of views to be able to pay for this home. I think we've reached the point where I need you to watch this video close to a billion times if we're gonna get back to break even based on ad revenue. So remember, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell. Usually I like talking about the numbers, but in this situation, I do not wanna talk about them anymore. So let's go through the rest of the house. We've been living out of suitcases because I waited to sell my home and then we sold it when we thought we'd be able to move in and then it kept getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And so we lived in a vacation rental that I owned for a couple weeks and then we moved in with my parents. My parents are awesome, so special thank you to them. I know a lot of people might dread living with their parents, but it just meant that we had a full-time babysitter and chef, so mom and dad. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, guys, I thought the basketball court and the pool and all that stuff was gonna be my favorite room of the house. I was wrong. This turned out to be my favorite room of the house. And uh, sorry, it's a dirty rag, we'll get that out of the way. Let me show you why. Reason number one, this toilet is epic. It just opens and mists the bowl for you so you don't have anything sticking. Great feature, I didn't even know that existed. Next thing. I love my shower in the morning. That is like, it sets the tone for the day. And people make fun of me because I'm a shower twice a day kind of guy. And uh, if you check this out, you legit can lay down in here for your morning shower, which might sound weird to some of you, but I thoroughly enjoy it, especially with three shower heads. You feel like you're completely covered in water. <laughs> the master closet turned out epic. This is something that I know my wife is super pumped about and I love that we can get everything organized. She's got it all broken down, color coded. Um, we just still have this stuff to put away. She's also got a little makeup stand. We'll have a stool in here and it turned out really cool. This is the master laundry room and I think right now it's a mess because we've been moving in and getting stuff around. But I honestly think this is color wise one of the coolest rooms of the house, the way the tile and everything came together. If you look in this room, this has been so fun for the kids. It's a little mini library with some beds they can hang out on. We still got some pillows to put on the ends. Just a really fun hangout for them. You've also got 
a little family room type area up here with TV, couches. Again, the design that went into this, the colors, the furniture, Lindy just crushed it with, and we're so grateful for her help. And my wife did an awesome job too. Now, this room makes me so happy because my daughter is loving it. As you can see, <laughs> stuff is all over, but it just turned out so cute for a little girl's room. This bathroom turned out so awesome as well. And uh, I don't know, the kids are just loving it. It's really cool to see it all come together. You can come check in here. And uh, you're finally seeing a somewhat lived in house. We've spent one night here. And even though there are lots of things that still need to be finished, it's been awesome. This is the other laundry room upstairs. Makes it really convenient. We've got laundry on all three floors. The tile guys did such an incredible job with the natural stone um, and all the backsplash and everything. They just crushed it. All right, now you gotta come see my son's bedroom. And one of the reasons I love this room is we come and we can peek in on the landscape. Now, I had no idea I'd be so in love with the landscape. It is super windy today. We're gonna give you a little view and I'm actually gonna do a full video on the landscape and everything we learned there. So if you come check out here, you can see they've got the orchard in, the reception area in, the sunken fire pit, and it really just turned out cool. One other cool thing that I'm way excited to show you is out here, we're actually gonna have a par three with a little putting green in the back corner that we can go from the pool room. So it's gonna be sick. Now, for those of you wondering why I don't have beds made and I still have stuff all over, it's because there's no way I can make this the final video because I'm gonna let Lindy come back, make sure everything looks perfect and pretty so that we can show all of her work because wow, like you can see already with the furniture, but I don't wanna highlight it in this video because I won't do it justice and we just moved in. So stay tuned, we'll show you all of the furniture once it's finished. The basement doesn't have all the furniture in yet. We're still gonna show you the stuff that is done. guys come on into the theater room we got to enjoy our first ever show last night in the theater room and it turned out so awesome colby he's our smart home guy and our theater guy thank you so much i put a link for him down below and uh it's been awesome oh hey I didn't see you there. I was just working out. <laughs> this room turned out awesome. And I have to give a shout out to Force USA for hooking me up with this gym equipment. My entire life, first off, I have wanted, but also used it as an excuse that I didn't have a good enough in-home gym to get swole. And so now I have no excuse, but Force USA in this gym is incredible. I researched for hours. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I sent out a thing that said, hey, I want the best gym equipment for my new gym. And Force USA hit me up and their stuff is incredible. And I've absolutely loved it. So stay tuned. I'm actually going to do a video on a body transformation. And my life's kind of slowed down the last little bit. And so we're gonna see how quickly I can transform over the course of a month. Um, some people might not know this, but I was really into working out back in high school and I've tried to just stay fit in the meantime, but I'd really like to bulk up in the next little bit. And so we're gonna keep you tuned on if this gym equipment works. If I don't get swole, I'm blaming it on Force USA. <laughs> no, just kidding. Also, I put a link down below and you can get 5% off if you want some incredible in-home gym equipment. It's not all this big and massive. Obviously, if you want the best of the best, you have to go a little bigger, but they also have some incredible smaller gyms and everything across the board, and you can get 5% off by using the link below. Ooh, a little indigestion there. Too many pull-ups. All right, <laughs> come on in here. This is the bunk room, so when sales reps or you know, we're planning on doing some real estate events here at the house. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming in the future, but this is a place that people can come and crash, 
I think we can sleep 12 just in this room. We also have the guest bedroom and the living room out here. Um, and I'll just give you a quick peek. The furniture isn't in yet, but it turned out awesome. I also wanted to show you this music room. I feel like the colors in here were just so cool the way that it came together. So again, we're missing some stuff. We're gonna get a piano in here, um, but this is Maddie's little place to come play the piano, play the violin, and I think it turned out awesome. All right, um, special shout out to one of our subs. Now this one, our granite people really did beautiful work, but I am a little discouraged that months later, we are still waiting for this to go in. So you might have to get my review once we actually get this in because we put the order in a while ago. <laughs> so the basketball court, another sub that has been absolutely incredible is home court flooring. I'm gonna put a link down for them below as well. But the court turned out awesome. We're just waiting to put the furniture in and they just finished putting the first coat down to seal the concrete. The thing with these flooring, the basketball court, we're gonna put one more coat on and that we're gonna put one more coat on, but we didn't wanna put those on until everyone was out of the house so we didn't have a bunch of subs tra traipsing in and out. Um, this part of the house really is pretty much done other than our HVAC guys. And guys, I, I have been so patient, so patient with our HVAC guys. We were supposed to have a humidification set up in this room to protect the flooring. It has still not been installed. And we've been working on this house for two and a half years. We've always known this was a basketball court that needed humidification for the floors. Um, I feel like it's pretty obvious. <laughs> the floors have been in for here forever and we've had to be really careful with keeping humidity in here. Um, but it has been so frustrating. However, we not, we've been able to keep this where it needs to be. This is not the only place the HVAC guys have left us high and dry. I'm not gonna dive into all of the other things with the house that have slowed down the process but I am gonna take you up to the pool where we require moisture to be pulled out of the room. We spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a system to go in there that has been sitting there for months and months and months and months and it's still not working. For those of you listening, you can hear that the wind is very loud through here and I have to keep it this way for the next two and a half weeks because my HVAC guy who has had literally over a year to get this up and working has chosen to not do it. So we've had to leave this open. I'm going to show you a video of what happens when you lock the doors at night so that this doesn't happen. Now, I know it's first world problems. I uh, feel bad about complaining, but after spending the money we've spent, after waiting for two and a half years for this house, and then to have a company do business this way, um, it's infuriating. It's really, really frustrating. And, you know, I'm hoping that the system actually works because as you can see, the pool is in, everything is ready to go, and I'm really hoping that the humidity that's been in here already hasn't damaged stuff. I hope we don't have mold issues. More than anything, it just, it's baffling to me that a company can do business like this. So, um, <laughs> we've had ups and downs with different subs, but this has definitely been one of those downs that's been very memorable. <laughs> now, while we're in here, I do want to point out one thing. I had my doubts about the pool company we used, leaving a full pool with all kinds of nastiness in here for literally over two years because we had to put the pool in right after the foundation and then build everything around it. However, it turned out absolutely beautiful and we are so excited to use it. The only problem is we can't heat the pool or use it again because the HVAC company we used sucks. <laughs> and we can't turn up the heat because that'll cause even more humidity. We're getting this room up to 90% plus humidity without even heating the freaking pool. So yeah. <laughs> we have to end outside because the landscape is absolutely incredible. And Nate Martin over at B&K, 
he bid me out. He's been perfectly on with his bid, which is incredible to me with the size of this project. Not only has he been perfect on with his bid, he's been perfect on with his timing. He promised me he'd get this job in, done in three months and I was like, there's no way in heck you're gonna get it done in three months. And he's gonna get it done in three months. And so, um, I don't know, if you're in the Idaho Falls area, and I think they cover to Jackson, Pocatello, all over the place, I looked into a lot of different landscape companies and there's literally no one better than B&K. And so, special shout out to Nate. We went to high school together and he absolutely crushed it. We'll do one last view out here in the back, but then we're gonna do a whole video on the landscape as soon as it's finished here in two weeks. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I've tried to be very positive through this process. I'm um, looking at the price, the time frame, and some of the issues we're still dealing with. Hopefully you guys understand. I'm not trying to be too pessimistic. I'm so grateful for this home. And I do have to say, this is a very unique project. And even after all of this, I would still recommend my builder. Um, Greg Armstrong, I just wanna give him a special thank you because the finishes on this home are absolutely gorgeous. And this is the largest, most unique home he's ever built. And I truly felt like all along the process, he was extremely fair with me and, and did a great job. And so we're so happy with the home and how it's ended up. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next couple videos because there's so much cool stuff in this house that I can't share with you in one video. And so if you enjoyed it and you want to see the last finishes when it comes to all of the smart home stuff, the landscape, and all the other fun things we're going to be doing here, make sure you remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell. We'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Thanks, guys.